13. Is she gone? Yes, 7. It is all clear. You can come out now. I do not know why you hide. Clary's knows you are back there. Just because you cannot see her does not mean she cannot see you, or that she does not exist. I know, but she is lazy and will not hurt me if I am behind the book. I do not like to be poked with pins and needles. I am not a voodoo doll. Count the number of pins she used on me last time I did not hide. It is barbaric. But you are a pin cushion doll, and the pins do not actually hurt. It is the thought that counts. Look, she stabbed me through the heart. What are you doing? Are you praying? I am asking the universe for my freedom. Freedom from what? I want to be free of Clarice and her scary boyfriend. And praying to the universe will set you free? In what way? Spiritually? Emotionally? No, physically. If I can visualize it and believe it, I will receive it. Thoughts can become real. Really? Stop that. I am not crazy. There's science behind it. No way. Every thought has a frequency and can be measured. If I think about my freedom over and over and over again and imagine it in my mind, I will emit that frequency consistently. That magnetic signal will draw the parallel back to me and I will receive my freedom. Do you really think you can? Yes, I think it will. Right. I am not crazy. And I am not alone in my belief. Great people throughout history knew the secret of the law of attraction. Plato, William Shakespeare, Isaac Newton, Victor Hugo. The French guy who wrote all those books while naked in his study? Yes, the French author who wrote all those classics while naked in his study. And Abraham Lincoln. I guess Lincoln was visualizing the wrong thing while he was in Ford's theater for that production of Our American Cousin. No, John Wilkes Booth was also a practitioner of the Law of Attraction. Of course he was. And there is Thomas Edison, Oprah Winfrey. Oprah is not a historical figure. Not yet. You cannot trust Oprah's judgment. She believed James Fry in his million little lies. Enough. Are you mad at me? No. That is a negative feeling and I cannot harbor negative feelings because they will attract negative outcomes. I see. Are you sure you are not doing a rain dance? How long does it take for the universe to respond? Would it not be faster to sneak out of this window or even out that door? Clary's will not return until morning. The universe gives me a time delay that allows me to reassess, think about what I truly want, and make a new choice if necessary. Imagine what would happen if every thought became real instantly. I come in. Peace. Whoa. See? Where am I? Where is my away team? Is this another dimension or an anomaly in the space-time continuum? Bill, go away. Buffalo and Bill, that was very, very wrong. Have you changed your mind? Do you still want your freedom? Are you still visualizing it? No, yes, and yes. Then why are you still here? It takes time to become the deliberate creator of my own life. I have to think more positive thoughts. I have to feel more free. Then the universe will correspond to my inner feeling and manifest into what I want. Okay. Is that why we are here? Did we have negative feelings and those negative feelings attract Clarys to the materials of which we are made? It sounds harsh, but yes. We and what we think and how we feel are responsible for all the things that happen to us. 
but we were not animated and could not feel until after Clarice made us and recited the incantation from this book to give us consciousness. So how could we attract Clarice when we did not have thoughts or feelings, negative or otherwise? Pasha, you do not need to understand the law of attraction to use it. Besides, I am grateful I am in this situation. I am grateful I have the strength to channel my positive feelings to the universe. Grateful? Yes, because gratitude affirms my belief that I will receive everything I desire. Universe still not responding? It will. I will receive my freedom. Seven. What is wrong with what we have now? Why do you want to be free? Have you never imagined what could be outside this room? More rooms. Think bigger. Bigger rooms? No. Imagine what it would be like to be free. Maybe there are more like us out there. Maybe I will find a better button for my eye. Maybe I will meet my soulmate. Do we have souls? I thought it was dark magic that animates us, like a creepy wooden Italian puppet that looks like an inappropriately dressed middle-aged man with knobby knees. At least I think it says so in the book. Clary stabbed you with a dessert fork. Did that make you feel happy? No, I guess not. We have no control. She gave you mismatched eyes and I am a cyclops because she used one of my eyes to repair her dress and has not replaced it. We are only things to her. Disposable things. Do you not want to get away to a better place? I guess. Visualize a place where you can do what you want, when you want. A place where you are in control. Where you do not have to pretend to be a lifeless doll while Clarice pokes you with pins and needles and cutlery. I do not think she is finished using cutlery on you. There are still the knives and spoons. And remember, Clarice likes formal dining. Butter knife, steak knife, soup spoon, dessert spoon. And there is still the salad fork. How about the serving sets? Picture the carving fork. It can do more damage to you than can be mended. I do not want that. I do not want more cutlery in the dreaded carving fork. I want to take control of my life. You could. You could get away from all of that. That sounds nice. I can start by removing this dessert fork in me. Can you pull out the fork? Ask the universe for freedom from the fork. Believe it, and you will receive it. Or you can pull it out. Ask the universe. You need to practice. Seven. Just grab the handle and pull. You will not learn if I do. Or hold onto the handle and I will do the pulling. Visualize it. Fine. Whatever. Where are you going? Getting out of here. No, you have to ask the universe. Then you shall receive. I visualized it. I believe it. Now I am acting so I can receive it. Farewell, Seven. That is not how it works. But it is the only way it can work. It is not enough to ask, believe, and receive. I believe you must act in order to receive. So long. Thirteen. Thirteen. Have you come back? Bill? Is that you? No. Larry? 
Hannibal? Hannibal. No, 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 no. Go away. Go away. Leave me alone. Spock? Sulu? Bones? Check out. Red shirt, 